Hi friends, uh, welcome back to this session. Uh, so today in this uh, video lecturer, we are going to discuss one of the most important aspect of UiPath platform. <coughs> that is UiPath architecture. For, as of now, we have seen uh, the components of UiPath, right? Uh, UiPath Studio and uh, UiPath Robots, the types of robots and then UiPath Orchestrator. So now we will see how these things are interlinked and how these things are arranged. Okay, let us consider a scenario in which in your project uh, you are uh, getting a, a new I mean a new client for uh, RPA with UiPath and you have taken uh, one license for uh, studio, one license for robot, whatever the robot may be and one is for orchestration. Okay, so let's see how UiPath architecture looks like. Okay, so here you can see uh, the UiPath architecture. <coughs> Basically, this is divided into three layers or three sections. Okay, so the first is client layer, next is server layer and next is persistent layer. Okay, so client layer uh, is basically what you can see or visualize. Okay, for example, UiPath Studio. Okay, you can see the studio, you can open the studio, you can design the workflows, you can use activities, right? You can use sequences, whatever you can, you are using to design <coughs> or to develop the workflow. We are using UiPath Studio and we will call it as a client layer and next we have the robot and the robot services okay so what is robot that we will be discussing in the next i mean upcoming sessions so when you install the uipath completely along with the uipath studio i am telling community community version okay only community version when you install the uipath studio along with that you will be seeing uh, you will be getting a uipath robot also okay so that will come under client layer okay that we will see how to deploy the robot and run the robot from the robot tree that's very simple so the client layer basically includes uipath studio uipath robot and robot services okay fine so let me go to the next slide in order to discuss the robot services we have <coughs> okay so we have the uipath robot okay so uipath robot comes up with two services okay one is uipath agent service and one is uipath executor service so the agent service is an intermediate between the client layer and the server layer so that we can call it as a web some web services also at a very uh, generic term okay so as we know that robot is meant for execution purpose okay in that robot we have two services one is agent service one is executor service so the agent service is used to communicate between the client layer and the server layer it means this agent service used to inform uh, all the work uh, all the workflows or whatever the uh, workflows you uh, design from the studio to orchestration okay so as you can see the previous slide <coughs> So we have robot services through which we can communicate to UiPath orchestrator, okay, which is in the server layer, okay. So this is all about client layer. I repeat, client layer is one wherein you can see, okay, it is will be in a form of GUI, graphical user interface, wherein you have the UiPath studio, you have the robot and robot services, etc. So in robot services, we have two types. One is used to communicate with the server layer that is orchestrator and one is used to execute the workflow okay that's all about client layer so the next side is server layer so server layer is the middle layer okay which is towards the server side for example uipath orchestrator okay if you see the uipath orchestrator okay so that fits in the server for example when you want to uh, get into the orchestrator okay if you want to log in into the orchestrator for configuration purpose you have to log into orchestrator url so basically there is a server layer in that server layer the complete orchestrator design is fit okay so it manages the entire automation work okay which monitors all the activities you schedule robots manage processes you can <coughs> 
develop new assets you can develop new queues etc and it generate reports also fine okay oh sorry licensing is done okay ui path architecture here fine so ui path uh, server layer it contains the orchestration okay next is persistent layer so persistent layer is a one wherein you can see the database okay so the database is ssml so it is uh, microsoft sql server okay why database is used okay for example in uipath orchestrator okay when first okay let me go in one by one first in client layer what we do we will open the uipath studio and we will develop some workflow okay and that workflow okay we will just deploy it to uipath orchestrator so during deployment what happens is the robot services one of the robot services okay that is uipath agent services will comes into picture so this will communicate okay used to communicate between the client layer and the server layer so with the help of the robot services one of the robot services we will communicate with the uipath orchestrator it means what we do is we will deploy all the workflow we have developed into orchestrator so in orchestrator we are going to create some robots we are going to create the machines right we are going to create some assets we are going to create some uh, uh, you know trigger based configuration we are going to set up the time whatever we do in orchestrator all that information will be saved in the ssms database sorry sql server database which is in the <coughs> persistent layer okay so this is how at a very high level architecture of ui path okay i repeat uh, we develop some workflow okay and we will deploy that workflow to ui path orchestrator okay so in ui path orchestration before deploying there is some set of configuration that has to be done okay which we will be see looking into the next part i mean the coming part fine so in ui path orchest orchestrator if your workflow wants some data okay we can create queues or transaction or queue item or assets okay that information will be saved in the database which is present in persistent layer so this is a very high level architecture of ui path okay so this is just for your understanding purpose so if you want more information there is lot of information which is spread across the web okay and moreover we should understand uh, the robot services we have in ui path robot we have two services one is agent services and one is executor services and the orchestrator which we have discussed in the uh, previous sections okay so that's all about the ui path architecture so this uh, you will be understanding once we are doing a, a practical hands-on about the deployment so there you will get the complete understanding of how all the phases works means how client layer works how server layer works and how persistent layer works so as of now if you understand this this is good enough what i believe so thank you so much for this uh, video we will see you in next session thank you so much